Hey everybody and welcome to Flying Hawk Archery Fishing Outdoors where I learn things the hard way and explain them to you so you don't have to do the same. So today we have a random junk review. Uh, it's not really junk per se, but that's just what we're going to call it. Um, so pretty just typical outdoor stuff. So today we're going to be starting off with this. It is a solar radio let me adjust the view on this real quick um so yeah there's the solar bit uh, obviously here is the antenna that you can pull out and should extend to where there's a little joint right there crap yeah i'm your host uncoordinated weirdo okay so Here's a little switch where you can switch between, I guess that's weather, FM, and AM. Uh, here's the part where you can switch between AAA and lithium ion. Um, if you go to here, this is just normal. This is to charge your phone, and this is a nifty little feature where if you're lost and nearly screwed in the woods, you get the idea. So it also comes with two flashlights, this main one right here. Uh, pretty decent flashlight, you know, can't complain about it for being attached to a freaking radio for crying out loud. Uh, also, un hidden under the solar bit is this little nifty light right here. So, enough of that. This is how you turn the radio on and off. Uh, this just adjusts the tuning, and I don't want to play any copyrighted music and get this demonetized if I even get monetized to begin with. Please, YouTube, I'm very underfunded. So... Yeah, I can't even edit my own stuff. That tells you anything. So it comes with this little clip here. Yeah, you know, nothing major. So it comes with this little hand crank that, if I can get, there we go. You can kind of twist this. Sounds like a dying rat when you twist it, but it gives power to this. And this little bit right here, this red dot, tells you when it's charging from the solar or charging from the hand crank and then here's where you can plug in your phone or charge the lithium ion battery itself so enough of that you know my honest opinion on it you get what you pay for it's nothing bad um so yeah that's about it okay so the next thing we're going to be reviewing is this hunting made easy thumb trigger uh so you know don't really have to explain much other than you click the bow string into here clicks like that then when you click this button it releases like that gives you a lot more power so really this is probably one of my favorite little outdoor gadgets here um, gives a lot more power to the bow I've gotten arrows where they just, I can't just cannot get them out a few times because how much power this puts behind it so moving on to the next thing, what should we do? Okay, so this is probably one of my favorites. It's this nifty little SOG boot knife. Um, it's got this clip right here, you know, pretty pretty uh, simple deal here. You know, it's nice and sneaky, it's tiny, you know. If you wanna, if you prefer a fixed blade to a pocket knife, I definitely recommend this if you still want the versatility and the utility and things that end with itty that are good because you know on this channel the line between satire and actual reviews is very thin to the point where you cannot tell if it is a legit review or satire so anyway can't complain about this nice and sneaky uh really good thing to have you know honestly my main rule for being outside is don't go anywhere without a, some sort of blade and a lighter because you know you start out with a blade and a lighter you'll be fine if you know what you're doing so next thing because i mentioned having a blade and a lighter zippo you know typical stainless steel zippo here click it click it come on okay stupid thing uh click it and it lights you know can't complain uh, just plain stainless steel no design or anything I like keeping it kind of simple uh, this is actually the same model that my crampy had so I think that's pretty neat in itself uh, here's a little stuff on the bottom made in America that's a 
darn good thing these days. So, you know, there's not much you can review about a lighter. Uh, one complaint that I have is that it takes a lot to light and it doesn't come pre-filled. So definitely if you do buy this, which I bought it at Meyer for $10, um, definitely get some Zippo fluid while you're at it. So also I forgot to tell what the prices were for the other three things. Crap. So I'll get to that in a minute. We'll do that at the end of the video. So this is a snake bite kit. I got this at Academy. So, you know, it's got these things. Basically what it does is it kind of sucks the venom out. If you open it, cause it's like, it's cold out here. Okay, and things shrink when it's cold. So it comes with like a whole bunch of stuff to prevent a snake bite, which I'm not gonna get it all out cause I actually might need this, especially during the summer here in Kentucky. Snakes everywhere, can't be too careful. So, on that note, speaking of venom and stuff like that, Benadryl Itch Relief Stick. Uh, this is probably a really good thing to have. Uh, I kind of just got this impulse buy, but I have a feeling it'll pay off. Eventually, basically, what you do is just unscrew the cap, press the uh, stuff on here, or whatever it is, I don't know, some sort of medicine, and it makes it quit itching, and probably gets rid of the infection I'm not sure what can count on it so definitely give it more care than just rubbing this junk all over it moving on we have this camo face paint wheel uh, comes with a locking cap you know pretty simple uh, good for you know keeping in a bug out bag it's fairly compact uh, really nothing to complain about other than it's made of a whole bunch of crap you can't pronounce unless you're a chemist. But uh, it's also made in China. <laughs> That's not too fun. So, yeah, you know, can't complain about it. I've only used it once or twice just to joke around with. I'm actually working on getting a hunting license right now, believe it or not. You may not know from my voice, but I'm only 16. So that makes things a little rough, you know. I'm kind of a suburban redneck at this point. So moving on, we have this engineer compass. I actually got this a few years ago, so I won't be able to give too many details on it because I can't remember. You know, typical compass, you know, nothing much to be said for it. Points north, you know, you get the picture. Okay, so moving on to the last thing, and this is a hand chainsaw. Okay, it comes pre-oiled, which is good. Good to keep a bit of WD-40 on hand in case it gets stuck or something, but you know, I've used this a couple of times already. It, it's a pretty decent little hand saw. You know, you can't really complain about it. It doesn't cut quickly because it's not a gas-powered chainsaw. It's a hand chainsaw. It'll only go as fast as your hands go. So, on that note, nothing to complain about, really. Because you get what you pay for and you get the use out of it that you need. So, yeah. Okay, time to move on to the prices. This was $30 on Amazon. You know, get what you pay for, again. This little boot knife here. Uh, this was forty dollars on Amazon. Again, be sure that it's legit SOG and not some stupid Chinese knockoff, because you know they tend to do that. Can't ever trust the Chinese to not make anything that's their own, because you know they'll just they have I guess copyright infringement doesn't translate well into Mandarin. So anyway, this was I think it was three dollars at Academy. You know I get most of my stuff at Academy. Uh, this Kroger, you know, three dollars. It was in the clearance rack. I don't know where else you could really find it. Uh, this, twelve ninety nine. You know, a little pricey, not too bad. Uh, you know, nothing to complain about. The Zippo here, nine ninety nine. Not counting the fluid. The fluid's about dollar seventy nine per bottle. So, you know, a little nifty thing to have. You know, can't ever be too careful. Sorry if my voice keeps drifting off. I have some really nosy neighbors and it's hard to do these reviews or to have a YouTube channel at all because there's always people listening and I feel cringe having a YouTube channel. So YouTube, please monetize me. I'm very underfunded. So anyway, uh, we got about 20 seconds to the 10 minute mark to get monetized. So we're just going to wait that out. So let's, oh, I forgot to talk about this. This Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this right here. Like I said, lockable cap. It was, I think, $5 at Walmart. 
like I said, I don't really get much at Walmart because, you know, this Walmart's a little too rednecky for me. So, on that note, uh, that's everything I have to review right now. So, yeah, enjoy your day and be sure you have the right stuff so you don't get screwed in the wild. Thank you.